Hey, what's up folks? This is Antoine, aka the Big Fella. It is time for another weekend vlog. It's Friday morning and I just got to work. I'm setting up my grill. I'm going to cook some hot dogs and hamburgers for the kids so we can officially end our summer camp program. Um, they start school on Monday and so we're going to try to do a couple of family things together this weekend. Hopefully we can uh, fit a little bit of fishing in there as well. So sit back and enjoy this off of my phone, y'all. I'm scared to bring the uh, Econ H9R out because it's extremely hot over here. I am like sweating like crazy. See? But yeah, still out here grilling. Got it um, about a quarter of the way through with all the food. But um, should be pretty good. Some of the kids are eating now and they're absolutely enjoying it. All right guys, I just got finished cooking on the grill. It's really hot out here. As you can see, it's 104 degrees outside right now. So yeah, this has really come in handy. Like I've been wearing this cooking on the grill and with it being 104 degrees out and the bottom half of my face is fine. Like I'm not even sweating. Like this stuff holds moisture or doesn't allow moisture really well. So if you don't have one, get you one. All right guys, I just left work. I'm heading home to drop my grill off and I'm probably gonna pick up a couple of my rods and um, go hit the river. So we'll um, be fishing out of the river for the first time in a long time. First time on camera as well, but sit back, stay tuned. Uh, hopefully we can catch a fish. camera mount on my head and uh, just fish. I pro you probably won't hear me talk. I'll get some pointers on what I'm doing afterwards. But uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. Hopefully I'll catch a fish. Hey, one of the hardest things about fishing at rivers like this is just so wide, so open, so much area to try to cover that you can um, sit out here all day and not catch a fish. And that's why I try to narrow it down. Like I try to hit these like little pilings underneath this tree, but I know it's a little bit too shallow there right now. So there's some trees along the shore over there. Maybe you can uh, walk the shore. Just a little bit of tidbits, but the main thing you want to do is like let's use these pilings for instance. The river is flowing that way. You want to cast on that side and kind of let whatever you're using drift past these pylons. Because like bass and fish or whatever you're fishing for usually like to tuck in behind the pylons because it's kind of like walking on a treadmill in a river um, for a fish. Like it's um you walk on a treadmill and you're, you're moving but you're moving your feet but you're not going anywhere. So they hide behind those so they don't have to fight the current of the river. So you want to cast there and let it drift by. That's how they like to feed in rivers. Is if something is drifting by where they're like, you know, hunkered down, easy meal for them. So that's just a little bit uh, tidbit for you. But now I'm going to put the uh, camera on my head and go ahead and fish.
All right, guys, I am leaving the river now to go pick my son up from football practice. It was um, a kind of a rough day. I only got the fish for an hour, but uh, got a couple nibbles. Nothing really would take it all the way, but um, there was definitely a lot of blow-ups. I'm pretty sure you'll see that on the video. Um, I threw a buzz bait as soon as I got there, then I switched to a wacky wig worm and I was slowly working it along those little pylons and uh, through some structure that I felt out there it felt like there were a lot of like it was either some logs or some rock I really couldn't tell but I was bumping up against something with the um, a wacky rig I let it sing all the way to the bottom and popping out feel a little tick in the line which would let which let me know that there was something down there um, and then I threw what did I throw after the wacky rig? Oh, I timed on the top water popper because I started seeing a lot of blow ups on the top. So I threw uh, top water poppers at some of the blow ups that I saw, and I didn't have any luck with that. But um, what I was mainly getting the nibbles on was the um, all white chatterbait that I had in my box. I was throwing that and uh, rolling it along the bottom. I would hop it. I pretty much drug it like a jig and things, different things, just trying uh, trying different things to see if I could catch a fish got nibbles but couldn't really uh, get the hook set into anything but that happens sometimes um, I could have thrown the Texas rig just a big like maybe 7 to 10 inch worm um, I might have had a lot, some luck with that but I ran out of time I had one rigged up but I had a lizard on there and I don't remember seeing any lizards in the water in this part of the river but it, it happens goose eggs happen so maybe we'll get out on the water tomorrow and catch some fish uh, not sure what the plan is tomorrow we're going to go ahead and figure all that out but I'm going to go pick my cousin up so I'm sorry my son up from football practice so uh, hope you enjoy the uh, scenic roadways hey it's Saturday morning it's uh, really hot it's going to be about 90 some degrees the real food going to be like 100 108 and um, we're going to go ahead and go to King's Dominion and spend the day in the water park maybe bye -bye, this afternoon bye -bye, bye -bye. yeah we're going bye bye maybe this afternoon we're going to go fishing hopefully if it cools down enough so sit back and stay tuned Guys, it's hot out here. We've been in the pool for about four hours now and we just cannot beat the heat. So we're just gonna go ahead and head home. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. All right guys, it's Sunday. We did a little bit of sleeping in. It's uh, 1025 in the morning. Woke up and ate a little breakfast and now I'm sitting here watching a little TV. We're just exhausted from being out in the heat yesterday. So I think we're just going to relax in the house today. It's supposed to be equally hot, if not hotter today. <clears throat> so yeah, definitely going to stay in the AC. I have a couple errands to run to make sure the kids get off the school okay in the morning. So we'll probably be doing that for the rest of the day. Good morning. All right, guys. I am on my way to do my errands right now, and it is sweltering outside. It's really, really hot. It's got to be close to 100 degrees. Um, I did pack my fishing gear. As you can see, my rods are hanging over Gavin's head. Um, I may do some fishing a little bit later when it does cool down. I actually uh, found a pond or a lake. I'm not sure what it is. Um, yesterday on uh, when I was looking at Google Maps and I drove by yesterday I didn't see any private property signs but it's um, surrounded by a cemetery or the pond surrounds the cemetery and I'm gonna go there and uh, try to fish um, if I get kicked out I guess I get kicked out I, I mean I don't know if it's private or not but it's worth a shot to be able to find a new fishing spot
hankering for breakfast for dinner, so I'm doing hot ham and egg sandwiches. Mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all, it is after 11 p.m., and everybody is asleep except for me. So I want to go ahead and end this uh, weekend's vlog video. Uh, all in all, it was a pretty fun weekend. Uh, it was just really hot, 100 degrees, both Saturday and today. So um, just did a lot of stuff inside, tried to stay out of the heat as much as possible. Um, I did get to fish on the river for a little bit. I had a couple tidbits, but I was playing the video back and the sound was kind of poor because my microphone was like kind of messed up. So I want to do another river fishing video, and it's going to be a little bit longer, and I'm going to show you more of my tidbits and secrets, or things that I like to do in the river as opposed to uh, ponds and lakes. Also, Tuesday, look for the uh, contest video where I do the drawing to see who won the contest, to see who's going to get one item from my mystery tackle box, and that $25 gift card from either Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, or Gander Mountain. And shortly after that contest, we're going to be doing a new feature to the channel, which is going to be called Throw the Tackle Box, where I take all the lures that came in my mystery tackle box minus the lure that the uh, contest winner chose, and I'm going to go out somewhere and I'm going to fish with them and see if I can catch fish. Uh, maybe I'll do like a little time limit per lure to see how many fish each one catches, and we'll have a winner of the box, I guess. And I'll also throw some of the things that I have in my tackle box now that I rarely use. Well, like I always say, get out there on the water, throw your line out there, see what you catch. And also introduce a child into the game of fishing so we can ensure the future of a uh, future generation of fishing. And also, if you like this video, comment down there in the comment section, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Invite other people to subscribe to the channel as well. And also follow me on Snapchat. Um, you got Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. Um, all big fella fishing um, Instagram it's uh, Twan BC T W A N B C and also on the uh, if you use the app Fish Brain follow me on that it's also big fella underscore fishing and um, get out there on the water and fish for fun and fish for cheap this is big fella signing out.